What's up everybody? On today's video, the state of Florida enacts a new law that is aimed at stopping people from playing loud sound systems in their vehicles. The new law 316.3045 It is unlawful for any person operating or occupying a motor vehicle or a street highway vehicle to operate amplified sound produced by a radio from within the vehicle so that the sound is audible from a distance of 25 feet. And it looks like Florida is taking the same route that North Carolina went in targeting specific car cultures. This is a small town in Alabama and as you can see law enforcement has taped off the town square on a Sunday when the businesses are closed so that the locals can have a place to show off their vehicles. However, while Alabama is a car friendly state, other states like North Carolina and Florida have put a full on war on car culture. Talking with individuals on the street, I can tell you that this law will get very little respect from people who are into car culture. After all, some of these individuals can have as much as $10,000 worth of sound systems, and these types of laws, like pull your pants up in Opalaka, are a prime example of law enforcement going into places like personal taste, where it's probably not appreciated. Many people in Florida are concerned that there are much more important things to take care of in society, where there is a massive addiction problem leading to homelessness, and that these are the people that the law really needs to be more concerned about, not the hardworking people who put lots of money into the things they own. The state of Florida has a trajectory of making laws that benefit the elderly people and put the young people at a disadvantage. Recently, however, it's not even a disadvantage. It's more like an outright war against certain types of people in the state of Florida. And the state has become the stage... And they're making laws that are aimed more at making a political point. Laws are no longer made from a practical and safety point of view, but as to make a political statement of some sort. And these types of laws lend themselves perfectly for police profiling. And that is the biggest concern that a lot of residents of the state of Florida have. Many people in Florida do not understand where this problem stems from. Where this problem originated, the north coast of Florida along Panama City Beach all the way to Pensacola and Daytona Beach is a place where people from states like Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia come to party. And the people there come to Florida thinking they can do whatever the crap they want. Their sound systems and their car culture, which originates in places like Louisiana and Alabama, are then on full display in Florida. Places like Pensacola, Panama City Beach, and Daytona Beach it is a constant parade of people from other states acting a complete fool. This problem is a few specific areas in the northern part of the state, and there are a few spots like Polk County and Sumter County that have a regional problem, but the vast majority of this issue stems with people who are not residents of Florida. But now this law will be used in the entire state in a way that it was probably not intended when it was written. So once again, the interests of tourists are more important to the state of Florida than the actual people that live here. If you were to ask a young person in Florida whether they care about this problem, the answer is going to be no. But if you ask an elderly person what they think about this issue, they're going to say it's a huge problem. So it comes down to older people don't want to hear it, but younger people want to do it. This isn't a political or racial issue. This is an age issue. And Florida's elderly population has been increasingly a smaller percentage of the residents as more young people and people from other places are seeking to live in Florida, not just to snowboard or to live out their last few years of life, but as a place to live in general. We live in a time where things are being outlawed, not based off of if it's a safety issue or if it's something that needs to be illegal, but as 
what is a popular decision to make on a political level. And many of the laws that are being enacted in Florida today are being enacted simply to make a political point. A state can make something legal or illegal, and their goal is ultimately to attract people to the state who are going to buy real estate. And the state of Florida is literally being tricked out at this point, being forced to do all types of things that perhaps make no sense, but if it's attracting people, that's all they care about. It's more with the social class and ambiance that they want to create in Florida. But let me ask you this, do you really see people that are more of a quiet, tame manner going to a place like Panama City Beach? Or just people like this who are going there to show off their vehicles. When you look at the geography of the place, it seems like the only people who are really going to go to Panama City Beach on a constant basis is people from Alabama, Louisiana, and places like this. When you talk about pricing people out of a place, it's not just the actual price tag you pay monetarily, but also the price tag you pay for being the person you are with laws like this, that affects certain people more than others, the state of Florida is trying to, in a sense, clean up the state from certain types of people that they don't want here. How can you be outpriced of a place? See, the state of Florida is a place that enacts a lot of laws and regulations that make it difficult for the little guy to get ahead. And a lot of people that are moving to Florida or considering moving to Florida are having second thoughts because when they look at the cost of insurance, when they look at all the regulations related to insurance, all the laws that are in place for construction, and an endless list of regulations from your vehicle to your house to your own personal finances, it seems like the state of Florida is making a huge effort to keep certain types of people out of the state, making life difficult if not impossible for people who don't have a considerable net worth. And this law regarding sound systems is just a small slice of the pie of the bigger picture, which is to try to clean up the state of Florida from undesirable elements. And this is a prime reason why we left the state of Florida. You're constantly under pressure economically from the law and from 10 different avenues, and it's almost impossible to make it here. The entire game is rigged up against you. If you're not trying to make more than $100,000 a year, you really don't want to be in the state of Florida because you're never going to get ahead. What you're going to get is tickets, pressure from law enforcement, and all types of economical discrimination that are going to hold you back. And just like sound systems have been outlawed in the state of Florida now, there's a lot of things like riding ATVs and dirt bikes that are illegal in the state, yet many people do this openly with very little legal consequence, especially in areas where perhaps the people doing these things are not the minority. For example, if somebody in a neighborhood of an inner city were to do the same exact thing, it would be illegal there. But in a rural place, they get away with it. And it seems like these types of laws really, really only lend themselves to discriminating particular portions of the population. It's very unlikely that law enforcement is going to come bother me, but somebody in an inner city neighborhood like Orlando or Tampa or Miami or perhaps Melbourne, if they were to do the same exact thing, they would definitely get the ticket. And it's not like you could really blast your sound system in some of these places regardless. For example, during one of my live streams walking around Fort Myers at night, we witnessed somebody getting a ticket for a sound system blasting. Clearly, this was a person that was out of place, out of setting, and law enforcement still pulled them over and gave them a ticket for their sound system, even though that wasn't even a law in place. They found another law, something along the lines of disorderly conduct, or I don't know how they ticketed this person, but we literally sat here and watched this police officer give somebody a ticket for doing this exact thing, that this new law is doing. So if they want to get you for it, they're going to get you for it no matter what. So just so we understand, this law stems from places like Panama City Beach and Pensacola and Daytona Beach. These are the areas where this is seriously a problem. However, with the state law being implemented throughout the entire state, it will be interesting to see in what settings this law will be enforced. And there it is. That is the new law that takes effect in the state of Florida. A lot of people are not going to respect this law. 
and law enforcement will likely use this law to profile individuals. Many of the people that are causing havoc on the state of Florida beaches are coming from other states and with recent events like Panama City Beach Takeover where about 60 people mostly from Alabama were arrested it is clear that the problem stems from other places. Florida is a fun place. We have beaches, we have palm trees, we have Caribbean vibes and if you go to Miami you're gonna blast your sound system because Florida is a place where people go to party and to have a good time. This isn't a state that tells you to turn down your sound system. This is a state that tells you to turn up your sound system because people are either partying, on vacation, and if you're a local, then you know the program. We're here to have a good time and enjoy one of the most cool tropical vibes you can get. This law isn't really gonna stop the real problem in the places along the North Florida beaches. What's gonna happen is that people are gonna use social media to make mass presences in one place at once, kinda like a flash mob scenario. That's exactly what happened with the Panama City Beach takeover. And they're gonna organize events where they're gonna come in with hundreds of trucks blasting music. There won't be enough law enforcement. It's just gonna create more of a havoc than what you have now. It's not about the color of your skin. It's about the type of ambiance that they wanna create. They wanna see old people in Mercedes Benzes. They don't wanna see a redneck in a jacked up truck listening to Boozy.